Well, we have talked to a lot of former Giants and Giants current players uh, about Buster Posey reliving the whole giant side of things. But what about from the opposing player side of things? Clayton Kershaw joining us now. Clayton, uh, I'm, we've got plenty of time to talk about Buster Posey, but George Contos, I think, needs to air out some grievances here. I want to give you that platform, George. No, we were talking about it beforehand. Clayton was nice enough to forget the fact that he homered off me, so we're going to focus on, uh, on Buster for now. <laughs> Let's get to Buster Posey. I mean, a fantastic career in Major League Baseball. From the opposing player side of things, what do you respect about Buster Posey as a player? Yeah, George, thank you for that, man. That's that's all I got, and I'll never get another one, so I appreciate that. But uh, just, just with Buster, man, he uh, – I just have all the respects in the world for him. You know, I think that's uh, the best way to say it. You know, when you play against a guy for a long time and you're a part of the rivalry, that's the Giants and the Dodgers, obviously there's some built-in animosity towards the other team. And, um, you know, we've had our tiffs in the past with a lot of other teams in the division, a lot of different things, but I've always admired Buster from afar. I've always, um, I've always thought he carried himself on the field um, really, really well. And, you know, now that I've got um, I've got some boys, I always think about guys that I would want them to emulate their game after, and not just how they play, obviously, because Buster was really good at that, but just how they go about the game, how they play, how they interact with their teammates, and different things like that. And uh, Buster's at the top of the list for me, so um, I'm happy for him. And uh, congratulations on his retirement. That's pretty cool that he gets to do that and um, spend some time with his beautiful family. And uh, I. Uh, just was honored to be a part of this. You know, it's, it's pretty cool to get to be a part of. You know, Clayton, you've been a part of the Giants-Dodgers rivalry since 2008, and Buster, the year after he came in in 2009, 2010 was kind of when he made himself a mainstay. Um, we obviously are significantly biased on our side when we're talking about him and what he's meant to the game and to the organization. And, you know, down the road, potentially uh, his – Hall of Fame case, you know, being a guy on the other side of that who has had many, many heated battles uh, with Buster, what's your take on, on his Hall of Fame case? Yeah, I, I don't know. I have no idea what rules are and different standards are for a catcher and anything like that. But as far as, you know, in our era of catchers, he's, he's the best. Um, offensively, defensively, um, he's won the World Series. He's got the hardware. He's done the MVP thing. He's done the Rookie of the Year thing. So, um I, I don't know. I don't know what it all entails. I don't know what you have to do to become an all hall of famer, but all I know is, you know, his body of work over the last, you know, 11, 12 plus years, um, he's been the best catcher in the game. So that, that's got to stand for something. And, um, you know, obviously we've had Yadier Molina, Salvador Perez, you know, we had Joe Maurer, we had different guys. We've had a lot of great catchers, but to me, uh, both sides of the ball, I think Buster, Buster is the best. When you think about facing, you know, a, a Buster Posey-led team, what makes him so special? What goes into the game for him that makes him such a great baseball player? Yeah, we talk about it a lot. You know, I think, um, you know, with Buster, he's a guy that you don't want to beat you, you know, on the other side. They have a lot of great players um, over the years. But to me, Buster was a guy in the middle of the lineup that you didn't want to beat and or didn't have beat you. And, um, you know, I think more than anything, it's his combination of, being able to hit the ball out of the ballpark, um, fouling really tough pitches off and not missing mistakes. So um, he does a good job of not striking out, making contact. And for a guy that has that type of pop, that type of power to be able to hit for average like that, to be able to take his walks, to be able to, um, you know, not strike out in big situations, uh, get the guy in from third base, little stuff like that. Um, he's a guy that you don't want up in an RBI situation. He's just going to do the job. He just seems to always find a way to do the job. But, um, you know, we say it on the other side too. I don't have as much, uh, to say about this side, but him catching, you know, I know hitters are always talking about it. Like there's just, we can't get a read on what this pitcher is trying to do to us. We can't do this. We can't, um, get a rhythm of what Buster's doing back there. His game calling, his ability to navigate pitchers and things like that are, um, I think really, really good. Uh, Clayton Kershaw did not hack into the system. We welcomed him here as we all talk about Buster Posey and the great memories and moments that he had as a giant. Clayton Kershaw, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Kersh.